dashboard. Everyone in Moodle has their own personal page called their dashboard. On many Moodle sites, you'll be taken to the dashboard once you're logged in. If not, you can get to it by clicking the link in the user menu or in the nav drawer. It's a page where you'll have an overview of the courses that you're enrolled in with any activities that need to be given attention to. For example, on our Learn Moodle site, the Timeline tab shows our participant Sam must complete the Week 1 tutorial and tasks. Clicking the Courses tab shows she is enrolled in two courses, her practice course, Basic French, and the Teaching with Moodle course. She's completed 5% of the required activities in this course. Let's go to a different Moodle site with a different student to explore this more. When student Amanda logs into Moodle, she first sees a timeline of activities due, with activities due in the next seven days appearing at the top. She also has direct links to the activities, so she can access them and do them straight away. She can sort the activities by date, as here, or by courses by clicking the Courses link. If our student moves from the Timeline to the Courses tab, she then has an overview of her current courses, those in progress, and, as when sorting by courses, she sees her progress based on the required activities she's completed. She can also see any future courses, with a start date in the future, and, as here, past courses which she's completed or with an end date in the past. To make these course percentages display, teachers must use a Moodle feature called Activity Completion. To make required activities display in the timeline, teachers must set deadlines or expected completion dates in each activity's settings. We explore activity completion in week 4, but if you'd like to learn more about how to set up the course overview, read the documentation. You can customise your dashboard by clicking the Customise this page button and you can change it back to the site's default by clicking the Reset button. You can decide to add blocks to your dashboard if you think they'll be useful. You can add blocks by clicking the Add Block link in the nav drawer and selecting the block you want. Let's add the Tags block. You can move blocks into the central section either by dragging them and dropping them as here and you can also click on the crosshairs icon and then select an area under which the block will reappear. Blocks may be deleted by clicking the arrow and then Delete. When you finish organising your dashboard, click the Stop Customising This Page button. It's also worth knowing that side blocks will display one under the other if your screen is very small,